Greetings, this is Griff Ruby, the Nostalgic Catholic, with another Isaac Asimov short story. No mention of it on the cover, but as usual, there's a brief mention inside the table of contents. It says page 30, zip code, and the little squib there reads, The mystery stumped everyone, everyone that is except Larry, a junior high student, by Isaac Asimov. So we have another Larry the Detective story. It is, in fact, his very last Larry the Detective story. No squib here. Larry, de Larry's detective dad had a case that didn't add up until he talked to Larry. So, here we are. We have some nice artwork. This is somebody, the pet's Larry. His appearance is definitely gone downhill or maybe that's his, maybe that's his father uh, I hope not <laughs> I mean he doesn't look like it. oh well so let's see any other pictures associated with this no I think that's it so this one is kind of a visual story so I'll have to do the story visually all right starts out that they have somebody been trying to track down who wrote down a zip code of some place on a pad of paper with a pencil. Then they took the paper away and maybe a couple more pages away so that you could barely, barely get even some of the zip code on by doing a rubbing on the next one down after all of that. So and everything basically stands or falls the ability of trying to make sense of these symbols right here. You can tell those are parts of the numbers of a zip code. At least it has the right number of digits. Obviously the little dashboard digit extension is not being included here. And so he had to try to figure out what it could be. So he goes through, what could these be, you know? Well, these are parts of numbers. So like, the last one looks like a kind of a two, but it's kind of short. Maybe that's the top part of a three or a fraction of an eight. Before that, could be the bottom of a two. Um, I'm not sure what else it could be. The middle one could be a six. Now we have a 1, maybe that's a 1, maybe that's part of a 7 or 9 or 4. And then we have the first one. Now uh, you should think that was a 4. But after a while, 7 thinks of, um, Larry thinks of uh, a little trick that may indicate a different number, especially when they start looking at the question of where could this zip, zip code be re referring to. There are some places that don't make sense and some places that do. And they had a number of different possible numbers and after a while he manages to solve it. It's not terribly great but it's, just, it's another Larry the Detective story. It is the last, and even more unusual, this is the only Larry the Detective story that does not get included in any of the Larry the Detectives. Not the key word in other stories, not the disappearing man in other stories. There are no other Larry the Detective stories, and the story does not get collected into anywhere else. It only exists in Boy's Life. Well... It is a rarity. Maybe I should share it. I will do that. Because it just seems to make sense. I mean, this is something you won't even find on Fiction Wise or anywhere else. So, we'll just do this. Okay. If you, don't, if you want to be surprised and track it down, which would mean tracking down the September 1986 issue of Boy's Life. Alright, 
Dad doesn't usually come to me with a problem. I mean, professional problem. He's a detective on the city force, you see, and generally he doesn't bring his work home with him. Of course, I plan to be a detective too, especially, but right now, I'm just finishing junior high and Dad doesn't take my ambition very seriously. He says I have lots of time to make up my mind. Just the same, I did help him out once or twice, but I don't know if he likes it exactly. He seems to be ambivalent. That's a word I picked up recently and it means that he's in two minds. He's sort of proud of me in a way, but he also thinks I'm a smart aleck, I guess. This time, though, he came to my desk while I was doing my homework, put a piece of paper in front of me and said, This is the sort of thing you like to fiddle with, Larry. What do you make of it? He surprised me. I picked up the paper and had a few markings on it. I just showed the markings and looked like those markings. I shook my head. I don't know, Dad. Is it part of a code? Bullseye. It's part of a zip code. How can you tell? Well, it's a long story, said Dad. Yeah, police business is always a long story. I've noticed. The gist is that one of our men had bugged a suspect's hotel room. He caught a telephone conversation, but not a very useful one. The suspect just things like, uh, yeah, uh-huh, and so forth. But then he said, well, what's the zip code? And there was a slight scratching sound as though he were writing it down. Our man, it wasn't I, by the way, got into the room later and picked up the pad by the telephone. The top page on which the zip code was written was gone, and... We think the one under that was taken, too. The third page still had some markings on it that weren't visible to the eye. The paper fibers were compressed here and there, however, and by using special equipment, we could make them visible. So what we have here on the paper I'm showing you are parts of five numbers, the parts we were able to make out. I looked at the paper again. It was a Xerox copy, I was pretty sure. What good, what would the zip code be, Dad? Well, that's a long story, too, he said. See, what did I tell you? The suspects have connections in other states, we're pretty sure, and we've had to call in the FBI. Ah, oh, for the FBI in those days. It's their job, really, but we've had no objections to getting a lead before they do, you understand. Now, if we had the correct zip code and combined that with other information we have, we might be able to show the feds just how to break up the gang which would do us a lot of good. So what do you make of it, Larry? Well, I said, if those are parts of five numbers, the middle number is a six, I'm pretty sure. And the next one is the bottom part of a two. That's right, said Dad. And the first one can't be anything but a four. But what about the second and fifth numbers? Well, the second number looks like a one. I said, yes, it does, but it could be part of a four or a seven or a nine, couldn't it? I guess so. And the last number looks like it could be a 3, but it might be part of an 8, or even most of a 2, I guess so, Dad. That means the zip code could be any one of 12 possibilities. Suppose the second number is a 1. Then depending on what the last number is, it could be 41622, or 41623, or 41628. The difference in the last digit isn't too important. All three could be bunched in the same city or in three nearby towns. But if the second number is a four, then we have four four six two two, four four six two three, or four four six two eight. If it's a seven, then we have four seven six two two, four seven six two three, or four seven six two eight. And if it's a nine, then we have four nine six two two, four nine six two three, and four nine six two eight. Twelve possibilities altogether. I nodded and was a bit puzzled because I couldn't exactly see what he meant me to do. He had worked it all out. I said, well, it looks to me, Dad, as though you don't have any choice but to try all 12 of them and see which one of them can give you the lead you want. That's your suggestion, is it, Larry? He said, kind of grimly. Well, that's all I can think of, I said. I was a little nervous because I thought he had laid a trap for me and that maybe I had fallen into it. I didn't want to look stupid, naturally. But Dad said, well... And uh, that's all we would think of him, too. Think of, too. We as the italics. So that's what we did. And which one was it? It wasn't any of them. Either our other information is wrong, or we haven't guessed right on the numbers. So the question is, Larry, do you see where we might have gone wrong on the numbers? Is there a possibility we've omitted? I studied the markings for a while and then shook my head. 
<clears throat> I don't see anything, Dad, unless... Dad, was the man who wrote these numbers European? Dad looks surprised. Yes, he's a Frenchman. What made you ask? Well, there's a kid from Europe in our class who writes a one like this instead of like that. He shows a streak kind of going up, then down. Okay. There, there's the one. Instead of the other one like that, just a simple little single stroke. He said, you make it look like a seven. He said, oh no, this is a seven. And he wrote a seven. Okay, now, here's the thing. There's a seven. Look at that seven. It's got a little mark in the middle. Sometimes people put a little mark like that in the middle of a seven. Hmm. They put a little line across the stem of the seven so as not to confuse it with a one. That means there are two ways to finish the first piece of a number. You can turn the first thing into a four. Alright. Or, but you can also turn it into a seven. So, it could be that you have a number, another set of those 12 numbers, just like the ones you have, except that the first number is 7 and not 4. Dad snatched up the paper and looked at it hard. You may be right, he said. It would put it in the Texas-Louisiana region instead of Michigan-Ohio. He went straight to the telephone. I didn't say a thing, but just went on with my homework. As it turned out, I was right. And they did get the gay. Dad told me that much, but I didn't ask for details. That might have made me a smart aleck, so I just kept quiet. In detective talk, it's called keeping a low profile. There it is. As I say, this is the only place that story could be found. And so once again, I do something I don't normally like to do. Go with extreme rarities like that that really do not show up in any other collection or anthology either Asimov or some other one, it just drops into the black hole. And if you don't have that, if you have boys life, or hear me doing this video, and if I'm not asked to remove this, um, if, they, if they got it copyrighted, it is old enough that the copyright could have lapsed by now if they did not think to renew it. I'm going to hope for that. But if that proves wrong, I will have to make another shorter version of this video or maybe just edited version of this video in which we don't uh, in which I can't give the story and that's what I have on the uh, zip code thanks for